Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Prime 3. We're actually starting off in the exact same place that we started the last episode, except that, you know, stuff has happened in between now and then and I'm just still in the same place. Um, I mean, you know, progress was made and whatnot, but, um, let's so, okay, so where am I trying to go? I'm trying to find Gore. It's a landing site A and landing site, the main docking bay place. Um, I don't think it has told me where I'm supposed to go yet, so I think if I just give it a couple seconds, it'll probably say, Oh, hey, remember, your objective is to go to this place. And I'll be like, yeah, I, it's, no one told me that, so thanks for letting me know now. And can I interact with this thing? I just shoot it once, shoot it twice, maybe, uh, missiles? No? Okay. Or, oh, that's right, I remember this thing. Never mind. I'll interact with that later. Um, but not yet, obviously, because that's that's not when later it is. But anyways, um, I have to find Gore. I think he's by my ship. I don't remember, though, because uh, I know I have to fight him, obviously. And I kind of have a vague memory of fighting him near my ship or some sort of open area. But I, I really don't remember uh, that well because it's been a long time since I played this game. Uh, or it's been a long time since I played it the first time. Um, and so on and so forth. And I'm actually really confused that so it's not telling me where I'm supposed to go. Oh, then of course it's in today that. Ship status alert. Unknown entity approaching. Commencing hull lockdown. So, yeah, I was right. Gotta go back to my ship. Um, however, am I right in assuming this is the direction to my ship? Uh, I am not. <laughs> I am going the wrong way. Uh, is it this one? I don't think it's this one. Landing site A. I'm pretty sure it's the main docking bay. Yeah, it's this area. So I need to turn around. Right? Yeah. This map always gets a bit confusing to me sometimes because of how it's set up. Um, okay. Just making sure I know where I'm going because uh, that's a pretty rare occurrence that I actually know. <laughs> where I'm going, but um, I wasn't that far off. I mean, I just need to go around, or turn around and go to the other door. Um, I think I can interact with this thing now. Nice. I don't know what it's going to do, if it's going to be anything important, um, or anything like that. I think if I'm boosting on the down spiral, or downside, not down spiral, but when I'm going downward, and then I boost, and I think that's the right thing to do, which is you know, likely and whatnot. What is this? Is this a, oh, I know what this is. Um, that's a thing that I can interact with now that I'm uh, with the boost ball. So then I can boost down and do that. And I, uh, okay, well, I'm t clearly terrible at this, but um, I think you get the idea. If I can do this correctly. Um, because I'm not... How am I messing this up? I'm not trying to, like, hit the wall or anything. But clearly I am. Which is really weird. I have to wait to boost once I'm already falling down? Ah, oh, wow, well, that was my bad. <sighs> I'm clearly bad at physics, and, um... Wow. <laughs> First, uh, first boost, I'm already off. Okay. Let's go. This way. I mean, I understand the concept quite well. There we go. That was a lot easier that time than the first time, but... Is that, um... Is there any way to get into those systems? Or is that where I've already been? It's probably where I've already been, but I can hear the sound of an upgrade. So I feel like... Or, okay, I'm probably gonna get in there from here. Turn this, get the block type thing going. Okay, so... I go this way. Is this where... I think, no, 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 that's just how I got in there the first time. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that, because that's backwards. That is not progress. That is the... Oh, wait. But... Okay, no, but I can't get that yet. Because I know what that is. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of backtracking in this game, um, as I've, I'm sure I've already said. I'm really glad that either didn't hurt me or didn't do very much, um, considering how I did that. 
But, um, is this the right way? Am I going the right way? I always need to check that, like, every five seconds. Okay, yes, right way. Um, because I need to use a boost ball. Because apparently I couldn't get back to my ship, um, without the boost ball. Which is kind of unfortunate, because it took me a while to find it. And in all that time, I couldn't have... I was not able to leave if I wanted to. Um, okay, let's use the cannon. That does not look like where I was wanting to go. I really hope that didn't just set me back a bunch. No, it did not. Aha! That gave me a big shortcut. But it did look like it wasn't where I was supposed to go. But anyways, it was where I was supposed to go. And I totally missed that door. <laughs> um, enemies. Just gonna walk right by them. Um, it's my evasive maneuvers. Come on, there we go. So then this should be the way. Ship priority status alert. Full armor taking damage. I don't think it actually matters how long I take, but I kind of feel like it's saying, oh hey, you're taking a long time. Hurry up. Catch up. Get over here. But um I'm going the wrong way again. I am not. Okay. Whenever I come up against these things, these um these uh, grapply rail things, I'm always like, wait, is this the right way? And it is. I don't know why I keep um keep forgetting this the right way. Um, I really don't like these little shooter parts. I mean, I've probably said that I do like them, which um, is completely understandable considering how uh, contradictive I am of myself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. My opinion on them has changed very drastically, very um, spontaneously, and everything is all getting my way. Ship priority status alert. Warning: Hull integrity is compromised. Armor damage. Going as fast as I can. Well, okay, that's not actually true, because I can use Morph Ball, or the Boost Ball to go even faster. Um, and Gore is just like, let me in! And why is my ship that not just flown die. away? <laughs> like, just leave. Surely it knows to leave. I'm sure I could have commanded it to leave. He's gonna throw my ship off the edge. Cats. Super. Oh, okay, not off the edge, just at me. Yeah, but seriously, ship, just get out of here. <laughs> why did I not do that sooner? <laughs> Take Gore with you and send him into space. <laughs> well, actually, I do need to kill him. So this phase on must be like uh, sentient. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this phase on must be like sentient if it's able to corrupt people like this. Gore's energy shield is capable of repelling all weapon fire, but the back mounted generator is exposed to a tank. It wouldn't generate to expose to all particular weapon systems. And battle armor, Gore's arsenal is considerable. Positive burst weapons, blah, 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 disposable, attack high speed. Okay, so basically, um, oh, look at this. Uh, what is this? Um, fuel gel. Susceptible to extreme temperatures. So I can, um, either I can blow that up or he can blow that up. Um, let's just shoot that thing in his back. Uh, he. I don't feel like he's a very difficult boss, but I could just have no memory of him. But I feel like my lack of memory of him is due to the fact that he's not very difficult or um, memorable. But I could be wrong. Can I uh, just shoot him? Okay. I wasn't sure if I had to just shoot him or if I had to use grapple or boost ball or something. I just got that weapon. Um, I probably could have been shooting him during that time. Ow. <laughs> Remember not to stand that close to him. Uh, shockwave. Shockwave again. Uh, I kind of feel like I should. Ah, I really should have been able to avoid that. But um, I feel like I should. Uh, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, where is he? Okay. Ow. <laughs> what am I saying? I feel like I probably should have used phase on. Either when I'm attacking him or uh, when I'm trying to overload his, his um, generator in the back or whatever. Uh, oh well. Let's see. I'm gonna stay away from him this time. So when he dashes, I really should have avoided that. I was trying to dash to the side, but clearly I'm not very nimble. Let's see. There we go. Ah, come on. Kind of, kind of avoided him. A little bit. Boy, isn't enough. Is that it? Or is it on to phase two? Probably phase two. 
Although he might... Yeah, it should be phase two, because I didn't even get, like, half his health. Uh, unless the phase on did a whole ton more damage than I thought it did. Oh, that's awkward placement, but, um... Just gotta shoot that thing. Uh, or, oh, that's right. Uh, can I use a boost ball? I can! Uh, I can use a boost ball while I'm up that. Um... I use boost ball while I'm in phase on, or uh, hyper. So that's nice to know. And my aim is so terrible. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I just cannot hit him for anything. Okay, so there we go. I kind of already knew what to do with that before um, it told me, or before I scanned it or whatever, because it's the boost ball. Like, come on, I just got that weapon. So how else am I supposed to get something in that location? Um, it actually, uh, of course, as soon as I get out of the mode that I need to be in the mode damage to him, he removes my need to do the thing. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Did I do it? I think I did. I mean, not like, did I kill him? But... Uh, come on. Charge shot. And charge shot. Should I be using missiles? Because it's giving me missiles to use. So maybe I should. Um, missile at his face. And I, see, I'm a terrible shot anyways, so I don't think missiles are a good idea for me. Um, oh, well, I mean, I killed him. Well, I did kill him with a missile, but I used missiles and moved him into his third form. Into his, this isn't even my final form form. Can I scan him again? I can. I probably should have scanned him previously, just to be sure. But anyways, now that he's in hyper mode, I probably need to use my Hyper Ball, because that's what I got from defeating the last Leviathan Seed boss type thing. Oh boy. Uh, uh, I feel like these should be a little bit more homing uh, than they already are. Uh, hyper Mode. So maybe I do need to go into phase on because that would make more sense. Blast him with phase on because he probably got rid of all his defenses while he did that. And I think I did just kill him right there. Because the phase on is quite powerful. And he already was close to dead. And just huddling together for his self-destruct sequence. And just the phase on. Destructive force. And I'm like, fire, destroy it, kill it. <laughs> and it clearly, it's not happening. Uh, and Dark Samus just, uh, oh, I just realized a thing. My uh, gamepad is dying. Um, where is the cord for that? I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I got the um, cable. Ah, oh, the health thingies probably went away when I wasn't looking. Plasma beam. Uh, I really liked the plasma beam in uh, Metro Prime One, and it kind of makes me sad that this isn't quite the same. I don't think. I mean, not entirely. Maybe. I mean, maybe it is. I'm not sure. Armature upgrade acquired. Plasma beam online. Uh, fire plasma beam. The Blah, blah. Slightly out of breath now. Because <laughs> of having to get the, um... Get the cables to charge the gamepad. Which I'm using to play on. Um, I just realized the screen was a little different than I remember. Anyways. Um... The thing that I kind of like and kind of don't like about this game, because I always kind of like and kind of don't like things about any game, apparently. <laughs> nice. That looks cool. But, um... The thing is that now I can't switch my weapon. Like, it's just the plasma beam. And uh, I can use it to melt this, um, this lava type stuff. Which I think I could pro I don't think I need to keep shooting it entirely. Um, once it uh, once it gets to a certain point and it starts melting, then I can stop. But um, if I charge it up, because it looks so cool charging up, then I'll just blast away a little bit. But anyways, um, my ship is <laughs> in, uh, it's been damaged. Unable to fly in its current state. Auto repair functions initiated. Uh, what? Eh, it's only 16 minutes. I don't... I, yeah, I can only save. I can't enter the ship. Uh, I'm just gonna save just to be sure. Just to be safe and all that. Um, I don't know. In case the computer explodes or something. I don't know. But, um... But yeah, so now I've got the plasma beam, and I can't switch back to my normal power beam. Which, there's not really a big reason for why I would want to switch back. But, um... I don't know. It just sort of removes a bit of the fun. Like if, uh, or a bit of the strategy, like if certain enemies were resistant to the plasma beam, or others were weak to the plasma beam, and 
that kind of thing. Um, the kind of thing you get from the first game. Uh, and what's interesting is that if you compare the way that the ship, or not the ship, the um, the weapon looks in comparison to the Metro Prime 1 plasma beam and the Metro Prime 1 ice beam, uh, it actually has the, uh, the sort of alteration that the ice beam has. Like the my arm cannon looks the way that the the ice beam looked in Metro Prime 1, but it's the plasma beam weapon, so I, mean, I think it's kind of cool. Oh wow, I should probably use tan versus things next time. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, now I can interact with stuff that I just realized there was probably something behind me that I could have interacted with. And it does look cool. I do like the fiery look of the, uh, of the plasma beam. However, I don't think it changes the phase on beam at all. Um, like the phase on beam is still exactly the same. It's not like a phase on plasma beam, which would have been really cool, but uh, it's clearly not the case. Uh, but I just really like the look of that plasma beam fieriness. It's so cool. But um, I'm probably just gonna be firing this forever, <laughs> just all the time, all day, every day, just to melt my robotic foes. 500 kills. And a nice way to get 500 kills. Anyways, um, do I have... Oh, that's right. I was like, do I have an objective now? But I have to get back to, um... I have to get back to the whatchamacallit. Um, to that Aurora unit. And then re-establish connection with the Thingo Bob. Um, by using my plasma beam. Which is actually an interesting, um... An interesting little sort of minigame interactive type thing. Uh, I really wish I knew where I was going. <laughs> I think I'm going the right way, as I usually think. Um, well, I usually think I'm going the wrong way, but you know what I mean. Um, let's see, pretty sure you go this way. I think. <laughs> uh, let's check the map. I'm going over here? No. Yes. Maybe. Uh, Steambot barracks, save point. I'm going to where the steam, uh, the not the Steambot, the save point was. That's right, because I had used a cannon to shoot from from there. So I'm I'm going the right way. I just didn't think I was, because it looked like I was. Uh, I wasn't necessarily going the wrong way. It's just going a direction that I haven't had to go on the way to here from where I'm trying to go. Which might have sounded a bit confusing, but um, shooting off all this magma. And scan the thing that I'm freeing from the magma. Cannon's ready for use into the opening with uh, initiate fire sequence. Let's go, cannon! Let's send me somewhere that I hope is the right direction because I really should have checked before jumping into this cannon. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Um, because of that, uh, the thing that I was like, oh hey, can I interact with that yet? But I cannot. But I sort of can, but I just can't interact with it the right way. Uh, shoot that thing. Um, yeah, okay, as I was like, do I was supposed to go downstairs? But yes, or it's not downstairs, there's no stairs, but down the elevator to the second floor, or to the bottom floor, to the basement floor? I don't know. Um, so I don't interact with it here, I have to go down and uh, re establish connections with the thing, with the thing on Bob. Over here, very technical term. But um, this thing, so now I have to press A to weld. And carefully move the V remote down the line. However, if I take too long, then where I started will start to um, will start to uh, pull down, and it won't actually work. So I'll show you by going specifically or intentionally slow. Yeah, it just sort of like deletes all the progress you made, which is kind of weird. So. You need a steady hand, because if you go off, then that's obviously not a good idea. It doesn't actually like hurt anything, but it's like it's not what you're supposed to do. Um, there we go. So I, I'll, I'm going to be starting off pretty slow, because I'm not exactly the best welder by any means. But um, I'll probably be getting better as I progress. And then, of course, it'll be getting more difficult as I progress as well. But huzzah! Communication online! I like it's on dash line rather than just online. Um, is it gonna say anything? Is it gonna tell me to do something? I just need to come back up to the top, so. Shouldn't need to tell me anything specifically important, probably, unless I just interact with object. Interaction. 
Thank you, Celis. We have restored our connection to Skytown's network. Now we can execute our plan to destroy the Leviathan. We must first disable the Leviathan's protective shield. Unfortunately, the generator for this shield is hidden beneath the dense clouds of Elysia, and so is impossible to reach directly. As an alternative to destroying the generator, we have calculated that a massive thermonuclear explosion would likely destroy the shield itself. This facility possesses the components to create such a device. We would like you to build this device and drop it on the Leviathan's shield. Unfortunately, the components are too large for you to lift unaided. You will need assistance to move and assemble them. There is a Federation landing site far to the east of Skytown. You will be able to find something to help you there. We will upload the current map data of this area to your suit. This should help you get started. Good luck, Samus. So basically, well, one, they gave me a map. Gave me the map to this area, which is nice. Um, and two, they're like, oh, hey, that Leviathan seed destructive force corruption thingy that we need to get rid of. Um, it has a shield around it. So we need you to blow it up with a nuke. <laughs> so that's a thing. Um, I don't know, can I get through here? Why didn't I, what was I down here? But um, let's see, so I need to go that way, probably. Or I need to get back to my ship so that I can leave and then land in the correct place or something. Probably, I'll look updated. What's it gonna say? Is it gonna tell me to go somewhere? Because I don't actually have directions. It just said that I need to go somewhere, and then it didn't actually tell me where that was. Throw stuff up, so that's already practically my real name. Um, Samus, blow stuff up, Aaron. <laughs> That'd be a pretty funny with me. Um, and because it's like three words, but blow stuff up. But anyways, um, over here. Um, now is it going to tell me to go somewhere? Because I kind of heard a noise that sounded like it was going to do something, but apparently not. Just fire away, because that's all I can do. And you just you know, shoot those things that I just like. Just that's what you do with things you just like. You shoot them. That's, that's terrible advice. That's, that's a very terrible advice. Uh, almost, oh boy. And nope, okay. <sighs> that's why I don't like them, because if I don't shoot them, they send me back. I really wish I could, like, shoot a continuous stream of this plasma, kind of like the, like the phase on charge blast. But, Unfortunately, that's not the case. So that only works with the phase on. I don't want to use the phase on right now. That would be kind of a waste. Which of these things sound very low health. Um, so I really don't need to worry about it. Anyways, uh, what was I going to do? I'm trying to get back to my ship. Which I'm trying to just rely on my memory so, uh, for in terms of like where I'm supposed to go because I don't want to actually have to stop and check my map and all that. And uh, as soon as I get back to my ship. Um, interesting. What is this? Oh, that's lore that I was supposed to be scanning. <laughs> interesting. Um, and then I can actually scan this. I didn't even realize that. Um, I really have been slacking on my, um, on my scanning. And uh, there's nothing here. Why am I able to come out here? <laughs> uh, maybe there was something there at one point and I just forgot. But, um, so these things, I need to remember to shoot those and scan them for lore. Uh, was I supposed to do anything up here? Where am I going? Okay, I do need to look at my map. Um, could go that way and see that, uh, unexplored area. I feel like it's unexplored for a reason. Um, or I could turn around <laughs> and go back to this landing site. Um, or I could just go through that way. Because, I don't know, I think I'm going to go back, probably. Let's see, this is probably a waste of time to go backwards. Um, usually going backwards is a waste of time. But uh, go back here just to see if I can get to that landing site from the other exit from that spot. Is this? No, that's just the way to nothing. Is it? No, wait. What? <laughs> Where is this one? Okay, this does take me the right way. Or by right, right way, I mean to the way that I'm trying to go. Uh, so basically that was a big waste of time, or this was a big waste of time. 
that's the thing about Metro Prime. You're not 100% sure what's going to be a waste of time until you've already wasted your time, usually. Because um, somewhere along the line, you're going to be wasting time. It's just whether or not you're wasting time going the wrong direction and then tracing back your steps or something. I don't know. Um, let's see. So, go out this door. That is the save point. <laughs> I'm not going out that door. I would be going in that door. And I, I feel like I probably should just save and quit because it's already almost 30 minutes. But, um, let's see. So, if I exit the other direction, <laughs> I'm actually going forward. That uh, should probably be a good thing. Right? Right? Am I right? Come on. Uh, I kind of want to see how quick. Oh, I didn't. I couldn't jump in midair. Like I have to jump before I go off the edge. Oh well. Um, let's see. Yeah, man. Yeah, because I go through this way. Then it launches me over here, and then I'm able to jump through the other way. I wish I could like get out of my morph ball mid jump. Ship status update. Auto repair functions complete. Ship is ready for use. See. So I just needed to, you know, progress through the story, and then it'll allow me to progress through the story. Um, forward momentum. Pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to be going. Aha! That's right, because there's a door over here that has the orange thingy. And that means that I have to use my plasma beam on it. Is this? Oh, it's a thing that I can't interact with yet. Curses. Because I know what it is. I just can't interact with it yet. Because I do not have the right suit upgrade. It's actually a pretty interesting suit upgrade. Sense. Perhaps what you require to access the Federation landing site in the east is not on this planet. The item you need may reside on a world you have previously visited. So basically it's saying, um, or it might be talking about this thing, but it's saying the thing that I'm looking for probably not here. And you're probably wasting your time. So you should probably go back to some place you've already been and use the new tools that you've acquired in order to make progress on some place you've already been and do stuff and whatnot. Um, which is a brilliant idea that I'm going to ignore for the moment. Because I am trying to see why I have not made progress on this area. And, and that is why. Because I needed to do the thing to get through that way. But, ah! Landing dock area thing. Why did I not go through this direction? Thank you. Have I not gone through here before? Well, actually, no, I have gone through here. But why did I not progress in Lorebot? Lor, 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 lor. Um, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, well, that was out of words. Um, can I... Thanos, the security locks have been engaged on this landing site. This was surely a result of Gore's recent activities. I will unlock this area. Allowing you to command your ship to land. Oh, nice. I was gonna say, oh no, I cannot access this area. It's a big waste of time. But then they're like, oh wait, no, you can uh, access this area. Like, sweet. Not waste. <laughs> not waste of time. That would have been hilarious if I just jumped off the edge um, on accident, of course. So technically, they're like, oh, I'm gonna unlock this for you, and then it just let me unlock it for myself, basically. Um, come on, land, land my ship. Um, so yeah, in the next episode, I'm probably going to be leaving Alicia, and either, I don't think returning to Brio. I'm going to return to the Galactic Federation place where I first started. Not the very first place I started, but, um, the place where I got the grapple beam, if you remember that place. Where I was like, oh hey, there's stuff I can do here that I can't do yet. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.